It may only be the middle of January, but we are already receiving a lot of our spring and summer riding gear. And one of the brands to get ahead of the curve has been Revit. And we have a fantastic item in the Revit Sherwood leather jacket to show you here. This is one of three new leather jackets in their urban collection for the upcoming riding season. And we think you're gonna be really impressed with what they have to offer. As a brand, as you probably know, Revit have a really wide focus on all things motorcycling through from their interests in MotoGP to the adventure market and all the way through to us in the fashion conscious urban riding part of the market as well. And this means we can have gear that looks great packed with all the great technical know-how that they've gained from those other areas of expertise. And in these three jackets, I think that they really have done that. And what's remarkable is that this comes in at 299 pounds. And to get a quality CE approved leather from a respected brand like Revit in at under 300, albeit only just, is really impressive indeed. These are available right now. As I said, they have already landed. And we have three great jackets here in the Sherwood at the lowest price point of 299. We have the Cordite, which has a slightly different leather and a very slightly different finish to it, but ultimately the same features in at 340. Then we have a slightly more premium version of this, which comes in at 399 in the Huntington. Also check out the Sherwood Air if you're interested in this. Fundamentally, it's the same jacket with perforations down the front to make it more suitable for riding in the hotter part of the season that perhaps this is not as ideally catered for. But fundamentally, what we have here in these three jackets and particularly here with the Sherwood, is a really great riding leather jacket. So this is not something infused with lots of hidden gimmicks or anything overtly technical by way of weatherproofing. So there's no waterproofing with this jacket. It's just a very good quality leather jacket that in the UK at least will be usable for the majority of the year. Anything really except for the very hot riding conditions and the very, very wet ones. I actually use a leather jacket every single day of the year when I commute. And there's maybe literally about five to 10 rides a year on those 40 minute commutes when actually it's so wet that you really do need a rain jacket over your leather. Leather's surprisingly good in a light shower or even something a bit heavier for about 40 minutes. I don't find it to be a problem, so it's not something that massively impairs the usability. But if you've got a rain jacket, of course, that solves the problem completely. You just chuck it on over the top. This also comes equipped with Revit C Smart Award Wing Level 1 C approved removable shoulder and elbow protection. This is the thinnest, most malleable, basically hardest to notice and uh, really slimmest market leading armor, which you don't need to bother taking out. You've got a bovine leather or cow leather throughout the jacket here and it has a really nice patina to it. You can definitely see the nicks and marks of the leather. So if that's for some of you, then you are definitely going to like this. It looks a bit, I think, more appealing than jackets that are just immaculately perfect because as soon as you get a mark on those, it really stands out. With this one, it's just got a nice finish, a little bit weathered, and that lifts the actual tone of the black very slightly in this particular jacket so that it's not a really deep, dark black. It's just got a nice, slightly aged look to it. You get pre-curved sleeves from Nergonomic Fit, and I think the styling is a nice blend of retro and modern with these shoulder panels particularly just giving it a bit of an accent and also giving it of course a bit of extra abrasion resistance. You've got very very minimal branding on this garment as well. This is something that manufacturers find very hard to resist which is putting their logos all over their gear so that every other rider can see that that's what they're wearing and Revit have listened and over time they've got better and better to the point that we're actually really surprised how far they've taken it. So the only branding now is on this little ring pull here on the zipper on the front and also this little patch on the back which doesn't even say Revit it's just their logo for those that would know so I think that's really nice and understated it all tones in it's all black I like the fact the zippers themselves are black and they're the traditional really good quality ones that you get with the Revit jackets and it just tones in really nicely as I said with this slightly lifted from deep black tone to the jacket which I think looks fantastic you've got adjustment where you would expect it so around the waist you've got a couple of different popper snaps you've also got the ability to bring it nice and tight on the custom collars with this slightly padded part around the opening as well so you can get that done up, stop the airflow getting in and keep it nice and tight. One thing to say about the sizing of the jacket is that I do think that this season Revit have shifted their sizing of their leathers somewhat because they are definitely one size bigger than they used to be. So do pay close attention to the size guide over at urbanminder.co.uk. We take every single size jacket in each and every model and we measure all the different measurements so that you can compare it to something you're familiar with and you can get it right first time. But basically, I'm six foot two, I have just under a 42 inch chest. And in the past, I would never really have got into something in a 42, which would have been the EU 52 as Revit sized their jackets. I would always have had to have gone a size up, but now I'm actually finding that they're actually too big and I'm going a size down. So here I am in what Revit term their size 50, which normally equates to a UK 40, 
but very definitely fits me as someone who is nearly a 42. So really a size difference from before. This is verified in the data we've got from the external measurements on the jacket. And I actually think that's a good thing, bringing it to a slightly more generous sizing rather than a slightly more stingy sizing as it used to be. But do go and digest that. Email us with any questions. It's very straightforward and whatever we say on the size page at Urban Rider will be correct and will have been verified. But if you've got a jacket from previous years, you just need to take into account it's changed, it's more generous. So the actual fit of them, it's not an overly restrictive fit. So sometimes Revit's leathers, even in the urban part of the market that we cater to, have been very race-like, very form-fitting, quite sort of stiff and slim around the waist. This one's not quite like that. I did find, uh, even in the right chest size, there's actually a fair degree of room around the waist, so anyone with a little bit of a belly is not going to struggle. They're not so constrictive. You know, you don't look like a Power Ranger. I do think they're quite a nice urban more relaxed cut than you would get in some of the other parts within the Revit collection from the sports part of the market particularly. Moving down inside the jacket and we have a removable thermal liner and this is a really good feature. It's a gilet and it's very easy to remove by virtue of zips that run around the inside. It's padded, it's quilted, and it's not overly heavy but it is going to extend it to make it slightly more practical when it's cold and also of course make it more usable when it's hot and you've got this internally accessed vertical pocket as well. So a jacket then that I think looks really good at a competitive price point from a brand that we've all come to know and respect over the years, so we're definitely pleased with what they've done. I'd also urge you, if you're interested in this, do go and check out the Cordite jacket in our upcoming video review, because for me, for the £40 difference, it really does feel absolutely fantastic. I love the finish to the leather in that. Maybe it's not to everyone's taste, but it's definitely worth looking at anyway. So if you'd like to be the first to find out about the world's finest riding gear, as always, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Goodbye.